It has begun. The season of creativity is upon us. I know in my house, I'm starting to put out little holiday floral arrangements. I have brought out my holiday themed pillows. I'm feeling creative. And that's why it's a perfect time to discover LV craft shows. Absolutely. No question about it. It's time to shop small and have their holiday craftville bazaar. What's going on is Susie Engel. She is here to tell us all about it from LV craft shows. It's great to have you, Susie. Susie? Oh, we missed you so much. How you been? It is so amazing to be back with you guys. I have missed you and I can't wait to have our shops, my a small holiday craft build bazaar, gift bazaar at Santa Fe station um, on the 28th, 29th this yeah. weekend. Mm -hmm. And ah, uh, Thank you for having me back. <laughs> We're, really, it's, a, it's, a, it's just like it's feel like, like like there's a bit of normalcy that we can actually go in and shop again from, the, from these great vendors. Tell us what you have planned uh, for this weekend. Yeah, we just uh, started back earlier this month on the 1st and I was really nervous because we have all these restrictions now, the far away booth, the one way flow of the of the traffic and much, much less vendors than usual. But you know what? It's super exciting. People were so happy and thrilled to be back and be out and about to see our people, to see the creativity. I mean, we will have so cozies there with amazing, uh, you know, these things where you put your bowl in the microwave and then put it in there and you burn your hands when you yep. grab it out with oh, this yeah. you don't you will find creativities like this this is a tissue box holder oh. look how oh, cute this cute is. gingerbread and then the tissue just comes out at the top here you know we have nahabo pottery oh. and she does amazing amazing ornaments lucy's will be there with handcrafted soaps and dog shampoo and all kinds of amazing things <laughs> You can find other crafts like wood signs. Of course, a lot of it will be uh, pet related because we love our pets. <laughs> here, is one, here is a favorite. She will be there on Saturday. She makes these beautiful, beautiful snowmen. And you can Cute. actually light it up. It is gorgeous. It's one of the best sellers there. Um, of course, you find facial masks, you know, all kinds of masks. <laughs> Very nice. Different masks. This is great. You know, I mean, the creativity is, I'm wearing a bracelet actually too from one of the vendors. The creativity is beyond what you can imagine and so unique. It's something you can't find at a store. We'll be set up in two rooms inside the buffet as well as upstairs in the Centennial Ballroom at Santa Fe Station. Saturday and Sunday. If people park in the North Garage, that's the easiest access because you come out of the garage, get your temperature checked, and you're right there. Masks and social distancing strictly enforced, and we prefer the masks over mo uh, okay. mouth and nose, please. Yeah, that's how you wear that's them. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> I'd also prefer your way. underwear to be on. You know, like there's certain rules that you just <laughs> yeah. have it on your face. Yeah, it's smart. You know, this is really exactly. fun. I know that. Susie, when we logged on with you, you know, you weren't sure about doing this interview virtually, but actually holding up each of those items right up close to the camera worked really well. And I love that light up snowman. I kind of want one, honestly. Um, you mentioned you dogs. Know. Yes. Yeah. We talk about Surf Rescue Rangers because that is a rescue you're affiliated with. We always talk about them when you come on the show, sometimes even bring us a dog. Well, uh, we're still around. We just had to scale back a little bit because of COVID and a lot of our fosters, including Robin, the uh, president and co-founder, being high risk. So we still have a few animals that we have that are still need a little bit of help and training. And we adopted out what we had uh, at the point safely. Um, but we scaled back a little bit. We're still accepting donations at Grand Montecito Animal Hospital. They can just call there and tell them that they want to make a donation to Sir's rescue rangers every dollar counts we're not doing our drawings at the shows right now but mm -hmm. what our vendors have done at the last show and they will do again at this show they all donated at least five dollars to the rescue so we were actually able to collect quite a good amount of money that's to awesome. donate directly to the vet bill that's uh, really needed and we appreciate every support we can have for them I love that. And I love the work that you do with SIRS. And uh, before we go, I know that LV Craft Shows, you got more up your sleeve as well. Uh, next month, as a matter of fact, you're going to be having an event over at GVR. 
Yes, we're starting at Green Valley Ranch on the 13th of December, and it will be a smaller show due to the restrictions, but that will be our kickoff there. And then we have a big plan for next year, lots of shows, including at Green Valley Ranch, Tivoli Village, at the Expo at World Market Center and Santa Fe as well. Wow, that's a big one. All right. Well, we want people to come out this Saturday and Sunday at Santa Fe. Great to talk to you, Susie. Good to see you, too. Here's a little treat. Very cute. Oh, Very cute. Oh, you know, I love little that. dog. LVCraftShows.com. The phone number. Yeah, I believe it's, everything is custom made at LV Craft Shows. All the creativity in the valley in one place. LV Craft Shows, a proud sponsor of the Morning Blend. <laughs>